Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here at the ASTA Global Convention with Zane Kirby, President and CEO of ASTA. And ASTA, for those of you who haven't heard, now means the American Society of Travel Advisors. We're going to learn all about that change and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Zane, uh, at this conference, you really unveiled uh, your new branding, your new logo, your new name, and a new marketing campaign. Let's let's go through all those. That's a lot, and yeah. let's go through a lot of those. Now, first of all, the the new name, uh, American Society of Travel Advisors versus American Society of Travel Agents, which it has been since when 1940 something. 1944. Right? That's right. So right. it's really interesting. Uh, the former president of ASA in 1941. So the, we used to be called the American Steamship and Tourist Agent Association, ASTA. Sure. But in 1941, Lawrence Kinports, the president of the time, said, you know what, our, 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 uh, our remuneration is no longer solely um, reliant upon steamships. Of course, yeah, they were going into aviation and other forms of travel at that point. So he said, you know, we ought to broaden our name. Our name should be reflective of who we are and, and who we represent and, and our, our entire portfolio of business. So he said, let's turn our name into the, let's, let's change our name from steamship and tourist agents to the American Society of Travel Agents. What a, what a neat idea, because again, their, their remuneration had broadened, their, and, and, uh, and also the, the sources of, sorry, but the one thing they did know, I'm sorry James, one thing they did know is that they had something really special with the letters ASCA, yeah. that even after 11 years, and even though they didn't have a lot of money in the bank, they, did, they, they, said, they said, you know what, we're going to keep ASCA, so as long as whatever we are matches with that acronym, we're going to be in good shape. So. That's that's the that's a short term. Now fast forward to today. You know, we did some interesting research about a year ago, and we went to consumers. We wanted to know what they think of what all uh, of what all the different um, yeah, terms that are used. Well, as consultants, advisors, um, uh, we, professionals. we've gone through professionals. Although you know, I mean, I, I've worked with a magazine that call themselves agents, so yeah. it's, it's different. But there's a lot of different monikers. But you came out with advisor, and that you did that after some fundamental research, though, right? Yeah, we went to we had. Folks Focus groups all over the United States in 12 different markets, and then we polled uh, thousands of, uh, of other consumers online, and we said, what do you think about these terms, and, and what kind of uh, attributes do you ascribe to each term? And what we found was the most positive attributes were ascribed to the word advisor. And you know, consumers are out there, out there saying, you know what, I don't know who an agent really works for. Sometimes an agent works for themselves, sometimes they work for a specific company, but when, when, I, when I think of an advisor, like a tax advisor or a legal advisor, I know that that person is working for me. Right. And so because of that, we took that research and went back to the board of directors and said, you know what, if we want to sort of move, if we want to think about this in a different way, you know, consumers are really embracing this term. Right. So we said, hey, and after, after about two face-to-face -face meetings and a lot of discussion and debate, the board decided in March of this year to change the name to the American Society of Travel Advisors. And then in, in regard to that change, you also changed the logo, which we can see right behind us, and obviously you wanted to freshen it up a bit, right? Sure. You know what? The globe has been part of our logo since its incep since the inception of our association in 1931. So we, we like the globe shape. I mean, it's it, we, we wanted to modernize it, but um, it also kind of th this logo can 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 double as a seal of approval. So it's a really nice, fresh look. We like the blue; it represents the earth. It's very inviting. It's very welcoming. So we're we're really happy with. Uh, we looked at lots and lots of logos. Yeah, I'm but, sure, yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> but sure you're tired of logos, but this one worked out fine. This one was really. Uh, uh, we kept coming back to it, and it kept drawing our attention. Now, the other thing you did is that you merged NACTA, the National Association of Career Travel Agents, which itself had had a name change a few years back, uh, into a new group, well, it's not a new group, but it's part of ASTA now more completely, called, I, I believe, the uh, ASTA Small Business Network, right? Yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting development. So, at, at March, when the Board of Directors changed the name officially, yeah. We took that information, we, we went right to the NACTA uh, uh, volunteer leaders, and, and there's, there's several different categories of volunteer leaders. There's regional directors, six of them, and then there's about 40 uh, chapter directors who are, who are managing uh, NACTA's uh, uh, 
sort of the, the local aspects of NACTA in, in 40 different uh, cities around the United States. So we went to them and said, listen, ASTA is going to change its name after 77 years. What do you want to do? There's several paths forward. There's stay NACTA. There's rebrand to something else. Or, if you want, we can, we can look at aligning the NACTA brand more wholly, more, homo, more holistically, with the ASTA brand. And again, after several conversations on the phone, after a, a meeting in person in, in Dallas a little bit earlier this year, the NACTA uh, volunteer leadership said, you know what, it's time. It's time for us to realign ourselves with the ASTA brand. So they voted unanimously to uh, call themselves the ASTA Small Business Network. We, we announced that about two weeks ago. Tomorrow we're going to unveil the, the logo for the Ameri for, for ASTA Small Business Network. Uh, oh, so it gets a logo too, right? Yeah, of course okay, it does. Fantastic. It's going to look uh, very similar to, yeah. we're definitely going to keep keep the brand that we have. But yeah, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're in a pretty busy ASTA. It's a, it's a very good trade show here at, at ASTA, uh, last day of the conference. Uh, the other thing, when you've, you've made those changes, the new, new name, new branding, the, the uh, merger of NACTA into much much more fully into ASTA. Now the other thing you're doing is launching a major new marketing campaign. Talk a little bit about that for consumer awareness. Yeah, it's so we've been at this for several years now. It's been a, a big priority of mine. It's certainly a big priority from the board of directors is to keep advisors front and center in the minds of consumers when they're thinking and dreaming and planning uh, to travel. So we have developed a new video. We've unveiled it yesterday. It's going to be on Asta's uh, YouTube channel and, and we're also going to put it's it already up. On, it's already up on Insider Travel Report now, but that's another story, but you, you can watch it. Thank you, James. So we're definitely, we're going to take that and, and certainly push it around the web, follow people around the web who are, are searching on, on uh, OTA sites and on, on other travel sites and who are even just searching for travel. Uh, we have, we, we've, uh, working with an outsourced PR firm to identify uh, uh, people who are most likely to respond to our message. And then the message is for people to, again, watch this video or a short clip of this uh, of the new video and then go to TravelSense to find a qualified ASTA travel advisor. And then you are actually redoing or, or remodeling TravelSense.org as well, right? Yeah, that's, that's also getting a refresh too. You know, it used to be more of a place where you could find destination information or, or occasionally some travel tips, but now it really is the best travel agent finder out there. And the board, again, uh, took some money out of reserves so we could really fuel uh, TravelSense's growth and its development. The most important thing is that TravelSense is now going to have a chat feature where uh, consumers and anywhere from 60 to 80,000 of them are going to travel sense every month. They're going to be able to log on, you know, find an advisor and quickly start chatting with them as long as the advisor's online. They're going to be able to quickly chat with them about where they want to go, what kind of travel they want to take, you know, what their budget is. And, and, and we, we feel like the best way for, for people to understand the value of working with an advisor is to really tap into their knowledge and their expertise right away. That's why we've enhanced travel sense with this new feature. And it's also getting a, a, a lot easier, the, the, the functionality of travel sense can be a lot easier to find what you want. So that's That'll be before the end of the year, probably before December, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, Zane, uh, this conference was great. Uh, you had about, what, 1,100 people little here? 1,100, yes. Little over 1,100. Yes, about 600 some agents. Yeah. Uh, and this year it's been in, in Washington, D.C. Next year you'll be in Fort Lauderdale about the same time. Congratulations on this conference. Congratulations on the new uh, name for ASTA, which is still ASTA, and uh, the new logo, the new branding, and of course the merger uh, with NACTA. Uh, it's been great to be here. Thanks a lot. Thanks, James. I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.